baptism, and I appreciate y'all sticking around. It always excites me to baptize because I love to see that, that confession of faith. I love to see that, that old man or old woman go away and see that new person in Christ Jesus come alive. I look forward to see what what all is going to take place in the boys' life. I've just seen such a great transformation here in, in the lives of these kids in the last, just since Camp Cairo. I've just seen it. I've seen it in Bible school this week. And, it's just amazing what God's doing. And I just pray that God will continue to work and move, that they'll continue to be the disciples of Christ, that disciples make the other disciples. And I think as a church, we certainly need to really be praying for these young people. We need to be praying about where we can help them and help them that we can help them to be disciples of Christ, but not only that, disciples make the other disciples. That's how we grow the kingdom of God. That's why the early church was the early church. That's why they began to, to grow in abundance. Because they had a desire to be disciples, but not only that, they made other disciples. And that's what Jesus tells us to do. To go there for and make disciples. And be the new one to Because the young excited for you for and excited what God's doing in your life. It's already given a life to Christ, and that's just that's an amazing testimony. But we're just looking forward to her being baptized today going forth and just say, hey, I'm making this public, I'm making this declaration that I am loved by God. I am a child of God. He's pleased with me today. Never forget that. Don't let the enemy cheat you out of it. Take you back to this morning. Take you back to this day. You say, I know you know the shadow of that who I am. Who I belong to and what God did for me and how God loved me. All right, let's get this away. Can you hold your nose? How you it is indeed an honor and a privilege for me to baptize you, my sister Glory, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.